To come into camel pose, I'm going to have Hannah come onto her knees. All right, for folks who are newer to the pose, you can encourage them to tuck their toes under. That brings the heels closer to them. I'll have her bring her hands to prayer. And you notice her knees are just tip width apart. They're not wider. So again, this is something to help protect the low back. When the knees splay wide, it's easier to compress into the low back. By engaging the inner thighs, we help create more space in the low back. And then from here, I'm gonna have her think of lifting her waist off of her hips. Good, and she'll tilt her shoulders up and back. Good, leaning back, leaning back. So we lift as we lean, and then she'll go ahead and reach her arms back. Yeah, and it's common, one hand at a time, we'll reach for the ankles. Good, and then from here, we're gonna reinvigorate that lift in the chest. And then come back up and sit down for a sec. All right, for the next one, we're going to try to prevent the hips from thrusting forward um, initially, just so we can practice a little bit more of a conservative approach to protect the low back. So come back up to your knees. All right, so rather than thrusting the hips forward, I'm gonna have her stick her butt out a little bit and then reach the tailbone down at the same time. So tuck your tailbone. Yes. So not over tucking, just a descend, which she's doing as the butt is out. And then she lifts the chest up and back, up and back. And then this time we have the toes untucked because she's flexible like that. And she'll go ahead and reach the hands back. Now, a nicer way to open up the chest for this is rather than having the fingers outside the leg, we'll turn them out. So the big the thumb is pointing outward and the fingertips are inward. And then she can reinvigorate that lift in the chest, keeping the belly back, chest up. And then tuck your chin in, getting the neck strong and lift up again. Okay, and sit back. So for me and for Hannah, we both have pretty flexible necks, so it's really easy to drop the head back. I recommend for us, it's a lot of work, but tucking the chin in. It's not that there's anything right or wrong about one way or the other. It's just about complementing where our natural mobility is and building strength to complement that mobility. Anything else? Open up the chest, reach back, and say camel. Camel. <laughs>